what's up everybody? Michael here. As the title of the video says, this is going to be a very basic coverage of weight gain and weight loss for beginners that want to get into weightlifting, want to start tracking their calories, what foods to eat, etc. The first thing you're going to want to do is Google a TDEE calculator. This stands for Total Daily Energy Expenditure. What this represents is basically how many calories you're burning each and every day through your activity or lack of activity. Once you have this number, if you want to gain weight, you need to be put into a caloric surplus, meaning you're eating more food than you're actually burning. I highly recommend only being in a surplus of like 200 to maybe 300 calories. This way you're slowly putting on fat, but you're also giving your muscles adequate caloric surplus so that they can properly grow as well. I know a lot of people like to dirty bulk and bulk and just, you know, stay away from, hey guys, I'm bulking so I can eat this whole pizza. Stay away from that kind of mentality because in the long run, you're just gonna end up putting way more, you're gonna, you're gonna end up putting on way more fat and the same amount of muscle. It doesn't matter if you are in a caloric surplus of 1,000 calories or in a caloric surplus of 200 calories. You're still gonna put on the same amount of muscle depending on how hard you're training in the gym and staying consistent with your diet outside of the gym. That's basically bulking. I would also highly recommend, the same goes for cutting and bulking, I would highly recommend eating clean foods. That means plenty of vegetables, guys. Healthy grains, fish. If you're doing a vegan diet, you know, do plant-based protein sources. Eggs are cool with me. I know that's not vegan, but that's kind of what, you know, a healthy protein source that I like to ingest, and then a plant-based protein powder. Very important that you supply your body with foods that actually cleanse the body and mind, not foods that are gonna be processed, have artificial crap in it. Stay away from all that stuff, guys. You will feel better mentally and physically when you supply your body with foods from the earth, foods that are natural. I'm not talking about just that organic stuff. I'm talking about, you know, foods that as a human civilization, we were kind of raised on. Try to keep an eye out for foods like that. Plenty of vegetables at each meal. Prioritize lean proteins and healthy fats. As for cutting, you're gonna wanna put your body in a caloric deficit. Obviously, you can get a little bit more aggressive. I typically like to keep my calories at maintenance level, and then I create a deficit from working hard in the gym and activity outside of the gym. Say, for example, my total daily energy expenditures like 2,500 calories. I'll eat 2,500 calories a day, but working out really, really hard in the gym, doing high intensity interval sprints and training, being more active outside of the gym with walking and all of that will create a deficit. So I'll be burning about 2,800 calories a day, but I've eaten that maintenance, so my body's not freaking out too much, like, oh my gosh, I'm going in starvation mode, I'm going catabolic, etc. As for macronutrients, which is proteins, carbs, fats, you're gonna to wanna to always make sure that your proteins stay consistent. When in a deficit, you wanna eat at least a gram of protein per pound of body weight. This is kind of renowned as the magical number in a sense. You can get away with 0.8 to one gram of protein per pound of body weight if you're in a deficit, but I'd highly recommend staying at that one gram per pound of body weight number. Very important that you hit that, especially when you're in a deficit. If you're in a caloric surplus and you're trying to bulk, it's okay to, you know, do about 0.6 to 0.8 grams of protein per pound of body weight because your body is being supplied with excess calories. So your muscles aren't gonna eat themselves for fuel. As for carbohydrates go and fats, both in a surplus and a deficit, they're dependent on your energy needs. Fats are extremely crucial for keeping hormonally everything intact, keeping your test levels up if you're a guy and a girl. Test is important if you're a girl as well, uh, actually boost sex drive and all that good stuff. So <laughs> make sure you're eating healthy fats. As for fats and carbs, they're gonna make up the rest of your macronutrient split. It's up to you, however, to decide whether you wanna go a little bit more moderate on the carbs or maybe lower on the carbs, moderate fat. Both work in my experience. It's kind of dependent on your body type and your background, what kind of diet your ancestors were raised on. Personally, I can't do a really, really uh, high fat diet. My testosterone actually gets like too, too high when I go heavy into ketosis. So I tend to have a little bit of moderate carbs and low to moderate fats. And then the rest of the uh, macronutrients are obviously proteins. So I'm obviously a fan of the ketosis diet as well, um, which basically means your carbohydrates are limited to do about 50 to 100 grams a day. You can get into ketosis if you have 100 grams of carbs a day. It's just dependent on how much glycogen your body's actually burning. Since glycogen is your preferred source of fuel for the brain, it's important that you at least have some veggies and fruits here and there. 
Uh, obviously, your body can operate on fat for fuel. That's what ketosis is. Your body produces ketones. Your body then your body then burns those ketones for fuel instead of glycogen. I've done heavy ketosis. It works. Um, it's got tons of anti-inflammatory benefits because you're not eating carbs and carbs usually cause inflammation which is another point i'd like to talk about stay away from foods that cause inflammation listen to your body guys uh you know you eat something and you like you notice oh, I'm, I'm bloated i feel like some inflammation's going on stay away from that food because in the long run that's going to cause cellular damage and inflammation is just something that you want to stay away from in general but yeah guys, this is uh, basically just a quick rundown of what kind of diet and guidelines you want to follow for being in a deficit or a surplus, whether you want to gain weight, whether you want to lose weight. So my memory card actually ran out of room towards the end there, but that's where I wanted to wrap it up anyways. Uh, let me know what you guys thought about this kind of video and if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future I know it's a bit of an uninformal way to present this kind of information But I wanted to get this kind of content out there because this is the kind of content I want to help you guys with in terms of beginner tips and tricks towards living a healthier lifestyle guys That's what I'm all about here. That's what I want to help you guys with as well. And yeah life updates I know the YouTube content's been just a little bit slow lately I just got over having a cold and now I'm moving uh, into a new apartment with my girlfriend in three days So I've been packing getting everything prepared here for that move So just a bit of a stressful time, but I've been live on twitch every single day for four to five hours I've been working on my clients I just met with an agency yesterday and they seem interested. It's a commercial and print agency So we'll see uh, We'll see how that goes and see if I decide to sign with them or not lots of exciting stuff going on guys Hope to take you along for the ride. Hope to teach you guys a thing or two and I'm excited for the future right now. 2018 is going to be really, really great. And I think 2018 can be really great for you guys too. Just uh, get clear on what it is you want to do. Be consistent. Put in the work. 2018 can be our year, guys. Let me know what you guys thought about the video. Leave a comment, like, subscribe if you want to see future content. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next vid. Peace out. Burning glycogen being the... Um, glycogen being the... Glycogen, uh, <laughs>